first attempts in learning. We know, sir, telemedicine, technology, it is progressing at a fast pace in our medical sector. So Kerala, does it need a degree in medical technology just like we have in Harvard, MIT or Cambridge? And will you consider this as a great step in the progression of medical science education in our state? You see, doctors have never discovered any technology. Surgical technique they have discovered, but not technology as such. Cellscope was you know, discovered by a non-medical person. Ultrasound was discovered, discovered by a non-medical person. CT scan, MRI, everything has discovered something else. We were smart enough to use it for our good. And that is the smartness of modern medicine people. Whenever a technology comes, you utilize it. But the days when you know, it took so much time to percolate the technology knowledge into medical medical field. Now we don't have that pace because by the time you uh, learn a technology, the further advancement of the technology has come. So we need a fast pacing. It's not only for te technology in the real sense, technological advance in diagnostic. Okay. In fact, this is an area that uh, I'm, I'm working on. In the university, we had, a, we had a, actually some uh, course on this, new advances in technology. Medical doctors do not understand the diagnostic technology. I'm just restricted to te diagnostic technology. And what is the way to learn? As a, as a clinician, you don't have so much time to learn. So you want dedicated people to do it. For example, now even uh, phototherapy for newborn jaundice. Most of the companies do have an advisor doctor there. Okay? In US, it is not advisor doctor, you are part of the team. And by becoming part of the team, you also get a degree from a technology university. You get the message? So a medical person cannot do directly a technology master's because he doesn't have the graduation. So you have to have an interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary system, which should happen only in few centers. Don't start in every medical. The problem with us is anything you say, I want it in my panchayat also. Now, don't be like that. You can have, for example, one apex, one or two apex medical college in Kerala, in government or private doesn't matter. Do that with technology. For I just give for exam, example sake, sake only I'm saying, take Amruta University. They have two wings. One, the engineering technology wing, and you have the same university, same vice chancellor, you have the medical degree. Now they are autonomous. Okay, they can come out with a program where you can do a dual program. Got it? You can do a dual program, or if dual program is not allowed by council's thing, after MBBS, you start a you know tailored program for technology and then work on that. But if you do it in every medical college, what are you, what is technology you are going to collaborate with? This there has to be a system to in place. And to me, I think right now in Kerala, this may be a venture that can be taken up by Amruta University only because they have two wings on both sides. One is a technology under the same vice chancellor and you have the medical under the same vice chancellor. Now, similarly, one medical college could get with, a, you know, to Vandram, you have the Institute of Science and Technology and all that. Maybe you can collaborate. But academic programs don't go well just by collaboration. It has to have a power, somebody above who controls both, and a board that can sit together, board the academic council or the medical side, and academic council or the technology side, sit together as a common academic body and come out with programs, which I am sure the government of India will agree to it. That is the only vision I have about this. But I think your, your question is perfect. We need real medical and technology persons. And if you want progress to happen.
Otherwise, what happened? We have a lot of medicines, but we have done repairing. We have started something. If your machine goes out of fray, you know, problem, there's a problem, then now there's a system to repair it. But repairing is not technology. Technology person has to tell the engineer what is that required. For example, I'll just tell you ventilator, different kind of ventilators. The engineer cannot understand the need for what, that. Only a neonatologist would know it or a, a critical medicine person will know. A critical medicine me person should sit with an engineer technologist to come out with solutions. I think it's feasible and it's a wonderful idea that you have said. Amalgamation of two disciplines uh, for the specific purpose of coming out with the results. I hope somebody is listening to this. Yes, diagnosis technology. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Diagnostic technology, interdisciplinary system. Yes, these are areas we really have to focus on. Those in power, as well as we students, need to have a mental mindset. How can we work on these areas to bring about progress in this medical sector of education?